everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elise. Um, if you're new here, I make videos about type 1 diabetes and just my life in general. So first of all, I'm wearing these glasses. I have no idea why. They're just really fun and I'm really enjoying myself. Sometimes you just gotta have a little bit of fun, you know? Even if you look kinda crazy. <laughs> Anyways, it is now the new year. It is January of 2018, but last year in November of 2017, I decided to do the 30-day diabetic challenge. So if you don't know already, November is Diabetes Awareness Month, and so somebody named the insulin type, and I'm assuming they're the ones that started this whole thing because that's where I found it, um, started this 30-day diabetes challenge. I'll post a picture right here so you can see what it looks like. And essentially it was something to do with diabetes every day for 30 days for the whole month of November. And I think most people chose to do this in the format of like pictures that they post on Facebook or on their Instagram. But I wanted to do something a little bit different so I decided to answer the questions for each day in a video format every day for the month of November. So if you watch this video you'll see that some days I kind of mushed all into one. Um, as the video goes on you'll see that it's just kind of what I get up to in a normal month of my life. So things happen. I get sick, I get stressed, I'm not always meeting my deadlines and that's totally normal and I think that just goes to show um, even more what it's like to live with diabetes when you're trying to get stuff done. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. One more thing I wanted to mention is I promised to give a shout out to my friend Sophia. She is an amazing young lady who has a beautiful singing voice and I will link her YouTube channel below. The reason I'm mentioning her is because if it weren't for the fact that I was diabetic, I wouldn't even know her. Um, she herself is not diabetic, but I know her through the community, through other people. And I just think that she needs to be heard because she is beautiful and she's so sweet and I just want people to go click on her videos and comment and tell her how great she is so that she can keep making more videos and keep singing and doing what makes her happy. Without further ado, here's the video. Because I didn't see this tag until last night, which was November 1st turning into November 2nd, I'm going to do the first and the second one today. So. First of all, my name is Elise. Most of you probably already know that, but if you don't, hey, I'm Elise. Second thing is pens or pump, and I'm a pumper. I use the Omnipod. And just start this off, this month off, just wearing one of my JDRF um, Walk for a Cure shirts. I think this one is from, oh, it says right there. It's from 09. <laughs> That's the first one I ever went to. That's the year that I was diagnosed. I can't give that away. That's the first year I ever went to one. It is November 3rd and the question for today is all carb or no carb and I would have to say it really depends. Um, I don't follow a certain diet or anything but if I had to pick it's definitely all carb. I eat a lot of carb. I don't like to deny myself things. Side note, today is the first night in like months that I've spent without Mikey um, and it sounds silly because I know it's just like one night. He'll be back. It's Friday now. He'll be back on Sunday. Um, but it's just, it's just an odd feeling being alone in the apartment, but I have my two babies with me, so I'm good to go. Um, we'll be eating a lot of carbs. It's day four. The question is, favorite diabetic accessory? And I actually don't have one. I don't really use any accessories. If you guys have any that you really like, uh, let me know. Um, sorry, I'm like by my mailboxes. I am taking this one on a walk. Um, right now I kind of just put like my PDM for my Omnipod, my Lansing device, and my strips all in my purse. I'm sorry if the wind is loud, you guys. I just throw them all in there. Um, and yeah, I'm not too fancy when it comes to that. But like I said, let me know what yours is and maybe I'll check it out. It is November 8th, but I didn't do the 6th or the 7th, so I'm going to do it now. I think the 6th one was my biggest supporter. Definitely has to be my mother. Um, I have lots of supporters, of course, but like she's probably my number one. Like She was the person, as soon as I was diagnosed, educated herself as much as she could about diabetes and was just there for you know every endo visit and... She was there for my pod training and she was the one that looked up diabetes camps for me and would look up JDRF walks and all, excuse you two. 
Number seven, the question was CGM. I have answered this in other videos before. Um, I was, I used a CGM once for a week that my endocrinologist let me like borrow for the week to see if I liked it. And I wasn't the biggest fan. I'm just so like stuck in my routine of how I do things that it was just a little bit bothersome. I feel like if I'd given it longer, I would have gotten used to it. But there was one main thing that they might have fixed at this point. This was like three years ago. I remember it would always beep to try to wake me up. Um, just tell me my sugar was high when really my sugar was like in the 50s in which case if I had like not checked my sugar with my PDM to like match them up and see if they were the same number I would have given myself insulin and gone even lower which is terrifying and that kind of put me off to the whole idea then again I know that sometimes they don't always work perfectly and I know a lot of people use them and they love them and I know it's really helpful for people who always have to get up in the middle of the night to check or feel like they're sleeping through low blood sugars or for kids whose parents don't want to have to wake them up in the middle of the night to prick their fingers for me though i just haven't um given it another chance maybe i will someday if a company wants to send me one for free i will try it out and this is my hump day blood sugar it is high which makes sense because i do not feel like great right now i'm about to have lunch um, obviously I'm going to correct for this to bring it down to at least 150 and I'm probably going to bowl this for about 50 carbs of food. Just got out of the shower. That was my mealtime blood sugar for lunch. Um, I woke up around 10, so later than normal. I usually eat breakfast around 8.30. I didn't have breakfast. I woke up, didn't check my sugar, immediately had coffee that had creamer and some sugar in it. So that is a result of whatever my blood sugar was before, plus that little bit of coffee, got in the shower. Now it's 187. Um, yeah. Could have been better, but that's diabetes for you. If you're wondering what I'm having for lunch, it's this. Um, Mikey's grandma decided to make us basically a Thanksgiving dinner the other night, so I'm just having leftovers. Leave in the comments below how many carbs you think I'm gonna bowl this for. Okay, still November 9th. I feel like so far I've only shown you guys my bad blood sugar, so I just wanna show that I don't always have bad blood sugars. This is my post-lunch blood sugar from the meal that you saw me eat earlier. Hey there, it's November 11th and today is Die Buddies. So let me think. Okay, I'm gonna say Lindsay first. I will put her Instagram below. Met her because of my YouTube videos because she watched them. My friend Ellie, who I've known since like 2013. Oh my gosh. Um, her links will be down below. And uh, I have so many, but I'll say one more. Michelle. Yeah. I know so many people. <laughs> through this community, but those are the ones that I choose to share with you today. Bye! It is November 12th, and today I'm supposed to talk about my diagnosis story, but because I already have a video up about that, I'll just leave a link below, give you just a quick synopsis. Uh, it was the summer before my sophomore year of high school. My sugar was like 600 when um, they diagnosed me, I guess. I know it can be lower, but I was already in ketoacidosis, so that was fun. Um, peeing a lot, drinking a lot of water, was sick for about three months beforehand, um, and yeah, that was great. <laughs> uh, the video is really long though, so those are the key points, um, but if you do want to watch it, links below. Hi, today's the 13th, just kidding, it's the 17th, I'm recording this four days later because I forgot to do this one. Um, today, or four days ago, was favorite diabetic book. I do not have one. Um, they gave me several at the hospital when I was diagnosed, but a lot of them were geared more towards like little, little kids, probably because I was in the pediatric intensive care unit, even though I was 15. Um, I don't even remember what they were called. There's one I have at home. It's like the Pink Panther something. I'll look it up and put a picture here. Um, that one was cute. <laughs> if you have any books that you like, don't comment them below because I will not read them. I'm not really much for reading about diabetes stuff i'll either ask a doctor go online ask one of my friends or youtube so yeah that's my answer hi 
tonight. Today is November 14th, which means it is National Diabetes Day. Actually, World Diabetes Day. So we are both wearing our blue, and we are going to the dog beach. Is that what it is? Uh, a beach, yeah, a beach, beach where you could take dogs. And there's Grammy. He's wearing blue too. This is my Humpty blood sugar. It is 6 p.m. and I'm okay with this. Hi, today is actually November 17th. Um, I was not feeling good yesterday, so I didn't do the 16th, but the 16th was diabetic cost of living. Um, I wanted to talk about that in terms of just people who don't have insurance because I know what my specific cost of living is and that's based off of the insurance plan that I'm under. But if I weren't under insurance, my Omnipod pump alone would cost around $2,000 a year. Every bottle of insulin I get would be around $300. I don't know if that's changed. I feel like it's gone up actually. Um, and test strips would be like $50. No, actually they are $50 per every 50, so like a dollar per test strip. And that hasn't changed in a while with my insurance. So I don't know what they're actually worth. I'm sure it's more. Um, so the cost of living for a diabetic is enormous. Um, and it, that does, my dog is barking at my cat because he wants her to play with him, but she's being a typical cat. That I guess does vary from country to country. So I'm just talking as someone who lives in the United States. Um, the 16th, let's backtrack. What, oh no, that was the 16th. So today is the 17th. So today is what is my motivation? My motivation is literally just to stay alive. Um, I really want to get married one day. I want to have kids. I'm not going to be able to do those things if I don't take care of my body. Um, also, just knowing what it feels like to be in diabetic ketoacidosis. It was not something I ever want to experience again. So that's a huge motivator for me. And yeah, see you tomorrow. Hi guys, today is November 18th and today I'm supposed to talk about how many years I've had diabetes. I have been diabetic for eight years now, so in a couple years it'll be double digits, which is crazy. It feels like yesterday, honestly, that I didn't have diabetes. Like I can still so clearly remember what it was like not to have to check my sugars or give insulin, but eight years, that's so weird to me. Um, Mikey isn't here to say his part, but I just wanted to mention that he has been diabetic for about 15 years now. Um, and he tells me that he really can't remember what it was like not to have it. So I know he has memories from before then, like he, he was diagnosed when he was 11, so he obviously has childhood memories, but he just doesn't remember what it was like, you know, not to have to prick his finger, give insulin, count carbs and all of that stuff. So. I don't know, maybe once I get to the 15 year mark, I'll feel the same, or maybe it'll be different because I was already 15 years old when I was diagnosed. I don't know, but yeah, eight years now. Hey guys, it's the 24th of November. I have been really not feeling great um, for this past week. I have a lot of tummy issues, back pain issues, other stuff. So, I don't want to give up on this challenge. I want to continue to show you guys every day a part of my diabetic life. Um, but I'm just going to have to rewind and then do like a few of them in a row. Maybe tomorrow I could get up and like put on makeup and look like not sick. I did. Um, have a good Thanksgiving. I actually felt relatively good yesterday. Like, it was such a blessing that I happened to be feeling okay for yesterday. Um, but I wasn't going to film anyways because it was a family day. Um, and now it's like, Thanksgiving is over and I'm back to feeling not good. So, I will finish this. Um, but it's also important to just tell you guys when I'm not feeling good because this is the reality of my life and if you're gonna see me every day for a month this is part of it um, I have a doctor's appointment on Tuesday and I'm gonna talk to her about a lot of the things that have been going on the same things that I've talked to other doctors about but we'll see what, what she'll have to say with her own unique opinion 
um, and get back on some medications I haven't been on for a while and get off of some medications I'm on now, maybe switch some things up. So I'm sure things will get better, but I just wanted to explain that, let you guys know. Alright, thanks. Bye. Today is the 26th, and as promised, I'm going to rewind and just do all of them in a row. I know I said I would do it on the 19th or 20th, I don't know, but I actually was not feeling good again. Day 19 is supply, so I will show you that now. So obviously this isn't all the supplies I have. I just pulled out the basics. So got my test strips, and they're the freestyle, the normal ones, not the light ones. I have my PDM here, my AccuCheck um, multi-clicks that I've had for a long time. Well, I've had the same type. This is like a new one. It's probably like eight years old, but um, it's brand new because I've never used it before, and it's the only one I like to use. So then obviously it pods. Um, come in a box of 10 I usually get three boxes in a shipment and some glucose tabs which I rarely use because I'm not a huge fan of them but Mikey likes them oh and alcohol swaps which are always a smart idea though I should use them more than I do probably yep that's just a tiny fraction <laughs> even though it's November 26 I'm gonna pretend like it's a 20th which was change your Lancet um, okay so if you noticed I have not been changing my Lancet I've just been skipping that part uh, the reason being, I could have sworn when I moved here that I brought my um, box of extra lancets, which I really rarely ever use. The ones that I use are the AccuCheck ones that have the six in them, so it's like even when I do change it, then there's already six in there, so then like to actually change the whole, I guess, cartridge or whatever you want to call it, is something I do even more rarely so I could have sworn and when this challenge started this month on the first day that I was supposed to change my Lancet I went and I dug through all my suitcases and all my stuff to find it and I just could not I have not had a prescription for that I'm not kidding since ooh, since um, I was diagnosed so that was eight years ago and I've still not used them up I have so many left you guys um, so there's that. I have a doctor's appointment on the 28th and I'm going to see if she can get me a prescription for that, either that or I still have a different endocrinologist in Albuquerque who I will be seeing in February and see if she can do that. But as for this month, I doubt there will be any Lancet changes unless I'm going to use my one drop Lancing device, which I do have a lot of um, Lancets for, but I don't really use that one. So there's the answer to that one. Um, so. <laughs> at least I'm honest right day 21 is goals and I'm assuming this means diabetes wise so my goals are just to get my a1c back to the best one I ever had which I think was like 6.6.1 um, that was back in high school so if I could get it actually at this point if I could just at least get it in the sixes I would be very pleased with that my hump day blood sugar already passed because it's Sunday so I'm just going to give you my most recent blood sugar, which was 146. The 23rd was Thanksgiving, so that was what am I thankful for. And I've got to say, I am thankful for the fact that I can afford insulin. That I have the means to get this drug that my life depends on because so many other people do not. And this has been something people have been talking a lot about. I've seen on Facebook and Twitter, even in the news. So, so incredibly thankful for insulin. And I can tell you now I did not do Blue Friday because I was in bed very sick. <laughs> it was like Blue Friday. It was like I was feeling blue. I guess technically I did participate. 25th was Change Your Lancet once again, which I just explained why I have not done that. So there's that. The 26th is My Diabetic Hero. Ooh, this is actually a bit difficult. Um, ooh. <laughs> You guys, I can't think of one. I mean, I can think of celebrities that are diabetic that I admire, but I don't really have one specific one. For the sake of being really cheesy and kind of gross, I'm going to have to say my current diabetic hero is my boyfriend because 
I mean, his blood sugars are not perfect. We both struggle, but how much he works, how little he complains, um, how determined he is. I mean, if I had the work hours that he has or the job that he has with having diabetes, I would be much whinier and grumpier all the time. I don't even have, I don't even know if I could do it to be honest. So I'm going to say that. That sounds so silly, but yeah. <laughs> Hi, it is November 27th and before I answer the question of the day, just want to be honest. I know that tomorrow I'm going to be out and about because we have our doctor's appointment tomorrow and I'm going to look cute and have a full face of makeup and a cute outfit on. So I thought, how about I just film the 27th on the 28th since I've been messing up this whole thing anyways. But I chose not to because I don't know why I care so much whether I'm wearing makeup in these videos or what I'm wearing. I guess I really don't. You guys have literally seen me cry. You guys have hurt. You guys have heard me talk about my colonoscopy, so I guess it doesn't really matter. So today is 27. The question is, where are you from? Where are you from? Albuquerque, New Mexico. If you guys couldn't tell, that was me trying to tell you that my preferred hypo treatment at the moment is Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I think it's Mikey's too, that's the reason why we have them, because he loves the pumpkin ones that come out around Halloween, and then he just had to get the trees for Christmas. He likes them because they have more peanut butter and less chocolate. I think I preferred the original, but either way, we always have them in our fridge, so definitely our go-to hypo treatment. It's November 29th. Thought I would film this one by my Christmas tree because we just finished decorating it and all of that last night. So today is hump day blood sugar. This whole month I haven't known if it meant like my meal time, which meal time, or morning, afternoon, I don't know. So I'll just tell you my most recent, which was 157. Um, yeah, this month has gone by so fast. I know that some of these days have all been whooshed into one. Um, I would say I would do this again next year, but some of the questions will just be the same answer anyways But this has been fun So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the last day Well, In Shirley's fashion, I'm doing this a day late in my defense though yesterday, which was the last day of November I had two low blood sugars, which just knocked me out for the whole day it was like one second I was eating everything in my kitchen and then I was just like passed out. It just truly exhausts me to have low blood sugars and I have them way less often than I used to so when they do happen, it's just all the more dramatic. So I literally did nothing yesterday. It was like the whole day just went by and I have very little memory of it. This has been a cool month. Um, I saw someone post about their diabetes challenge which Everybody else, I guess, is doing it on Instagram or Facebook, which is how it was meant to be done, and saying how even though the 30-day challenge is done, their lives as diabetics will continue. For the next 30 days, they're still going to be pricking their fingers, checking their blood sugars, um, all that good stuff, and it's just, you know, it's never the end, really. But since today was supposed to be the last day of changing my Lancet, I'll get to that now. I know I said I was going to the doctor. I did go to the doctor and the amazing thing is she was wonderful and she has referred Mikey and I to an endo here and we're going to see them at the end of this month. So I will get all of my actual diabetes like prescriptions all squared away with that endo at the end of this month. I, this doctor, I just had her fix a couple of other things. Um, and then I have an appointment with my old endo in Albuquerque in February. Did I mention that? Not sure. But we were really happy with how kind and understanding and competent this woman was. So yeah, it didn't change my lancet, but <laughs> other great things happened. <laughs> Very much needed things. So thank you guys for watching this video. Um, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment below whatever you wanna comment. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.
One more thing, if you guys didn't know, I have another YouTube channel that I have with my boyfriend Mikey who is also type 1 diabetic and it's called Type 1 Love. So if you go to youtube.com slash type 1 love, you'll see all our videos there. We just posted a new one about the fact that he is back on his Omnipod, which is the same insulin pump that I have. So if you're interested in knowing about that or if you're interested in the Omnipod in general, please go check that out. Give us a thumbs up. Just show some support. Um, I'm so proud of him for how far he has come as far as being comfortable posting videos and sharing his experiences and and how he's been so open about talking about his diabetes and I can tell it's been really good for both of our health so please go over there give us a subscribe and thanks